Hello, driving instructor Liz here to go over the skill of acceleration with you. This video is for true beginners as today we'll be focusing on how to accelerate in residential neighborhoods. Accelerating a vehicle is pretty easy once you get the hang of it but many new drivers do struggle in the beginning when it comes to smooth acceleration and maintaining a consistent speed. So just like any other skill, you need to do it in order to learn it. So why don't we just get right into it so you can go out there and practice it for yourself. When talking about acceleration, we're dealing with the gas pedal, or should I say the accelerator, as more and more cars these days are not being fully powered by gas. The accelerator is right down there by your right foot. When we use the accelerator, our number one goal is smoothness. Whatever we do, we never want to slam on the gas pedal or floor it. Otherwise, we'll find ourselves going from zero miles per hour to 60 miles per hour. So instead, what we want to do is we want to keep a nice gradual increase in speed as we begin to move the vehicle. The best way to accomplish this is by keeping the heel planted on the floor and then pressing the gas pedal gently with the ball of your foot. Apply gradual pressure until you feel the car moving at a nice, comfortable pace based on the speed limit for your situation. Once you get the car up to the speed limit, you want to slightly ease off of the accelerator a little bit. The car should sustain the appropriate speed for you unless you're on a hill or incline. However, if the car begins to slow down too much, just apply gentle pressure to the accelerator to slightly increase and maintain your speed. On the other hand, if the car is going too fast, just ease off of the accelerator a bit. This should slow down the car gradually. You may need to use a little brake if you are still speeding up a little too much after taking your foot off of the gas. For reassurance, you can take quick glances at your speedometer to make sure that you're going at an appropriate speed and to adjust your speed accordingly. And in time, you will develop a feeling for the speed that you're going and you won't have to rely on the speedometer as much as you did in the beginning. That's the basics of accelerating. Not too bad, right? After some practice, most new drivers realize that they don't need to work on the accelerator as much as they thought they did. You know, you're not constantly stepping up and down on the pedal like you would in a video game. It's more a matter of gradual maintenance on the gas pedal and making slight adjustments as needed. Here's a few more important tips to keep in mind when accelerating. Whenever accelerating from a dead stop, like when you leave the curb, always remember to do your smog traffic checks first. Signal, mirrors, over the shoulder, go. Always be ready to ease up on the accelerator and be prepared to use your brake pedal. For example, you'll want to take your foot off of the gas immediately and cover your brake if you see a potential obstacle, like a child running, a parked car opening its door, or any other road hazard. Accelerating too quickly when the roads are icy or wet could cause you to lose traction and you may skid. Not only are gradual adjustments in speed safer, they will also ensure better gas mileage and will help minimize wear and tear on your vehicle. While you don't want to accelerate too quickly, there are some situations in which you will need to accelerate a little more aggressively, like when you're entering a busy road from a side street or when you're getting on the freeway. But that's a topic for a more advanced video. But that's it for now. From Liz and everyone here at Drivers at Direct, thanks for watching and happy accelerating. Instructor Jay here, thank you so very much for watching. If you haven't done so already, don't forget to subscribe to our channel where you'll find other videos that will help you pass your test and continue driving safely on the road.